There we go. So just stay back there and throw daggers. You know that works. I guess he just runs out of daggers. He can only use so many per fight. And this magic is not doing much and my health is depleting, but I think this war of attrition will come out in my favor. There he goes! Suck it, Wraith. The Wraith vanishes into nothingness and the air slowly begins to regain some warmth. Oh man, that took a lot out of me. All right, well, to the victor of the spoils, what do you got for me? The barrow contains treasure that the Wraith collected while it was alive. Or perhaps you find a dagger, 38 gold crowns, seven- All right, so no crowns or treasures or anything, but I got a good chunk of money out of it, which I'll probably never use. And a dagger, I have 13 daggers. So maybe the fact that I have 13 daggers means that's how many I can throw in any given battle. Huh? You think? I think. Uh, well, let's see. What else do we have? We have flowers. Oh, right. We still got to help the Rizolka. I forgot all about that. Did we learn what we need to do? And I, my torch is still lit. And I have a credit card. Oh, my guild card. A pie pan. That means we still got to help Bobby Yaga. All right. So we got a lot left to do. All right. Let's keep... Uh, oh, yeah. We were going to find Anna. And most likely Nikolai, who has probably been slaughtered mercilessly by some sort of Gru. Which also secretes you. This might take a while. Oh man, I am almost dead. Would it be safe for me to take a quick little cat nap in the middle of the forest? After some. Uh, apparently, that's legit. Okay, good. Anna? Anna? Oh, Wispies. Wispies. I do something with those later on, but I don't know what yet, so I'm not gonna mess with them. Every once in a while, this game can get really dark, and I don't mean just in the fact that it is nighttime now. Like, you guys remember back in Quest for Glory 1, where we had to, like, pull out the mandrake root from the graveyard? And it was like the scream of a dying child or something when you wrenched it out of the ground? I, that, oh, oh, that, oh, Nikolai. Anna, I found you. Anna. Anna, how you doing, babe? I've been looking for you for so long. I never stopped looking for you, Anna. Never. <laughs> I never stopped looking in that one corner of town. Well, at least they're together. I love you, Anna. Yeah. I loved you from the moment you smiled at me. And I will love you for always. Oh, Nikolai. This time we will always be together. Aww. Forever? Forever, ever. Forever. The ghostly apparition vanishes. Well, at least I know that they are together, but let's do what we normally did when we talk to ghosts and kind of walk off the screen and come back and see if they have anything else to say. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, hello, baddies. Do you think I can take them with my low health? They're just bats. Come on, you can do this, sneaky feet. There you go. Use that aggressiveness well. Don't try and use magic because they're way up in the air. You're doing great, sneaky feet. Except for those couple of whiffs every once in a while, but not everyone can bat 1,000. You're batting about 800 right now. Let's keep on going. Come on, Sneaky Feet. You can do it. Hit that bell and out of the park it goes. Nice. All right. Every little bit I can do to bolster my strength before the next game is better, but I think that also prevented the ghost from coming back. So let's try it again. There they are. We came back one last time to thank you for reuniting us. Yeah. His voice sounds really familiar. Yes. Thank you so much. Without your help, I would have been lost forever. I do not know how we can help you. This is the last you will ever see of us. If there is any- All right, I need to look that up real quick. I need to look up who that voice is. I have been lost. Perhaps you can talk to my friend- She married Boris Stovich, who owned the shop. She did? Uh, she is such a lovely girl. I'm sure she was when you knew her. I'm sure they are happy together. Oh, Olga will be... Oh, yeah, I bet. Help? I can ask him about his hat? All right. Hat! You may, of course, take my hat. I have no further use for it. You're, it's even a ghostly hat. Um, all right, well, thanks. Uh, what can I... What I help! It has been so long. And I know so little of what goes on today. Still, some time ago, there was talk in town about a stranger moving into Borgov Castle. Yeah, we met her. There was much talk and many rumors about who had moved in. 
I do not know whether your path will ever take you to the castle. Oh! But I do know of a secret passageway to there. Is this different than the crypt way? Because that would be so much nicer, because I wouldn't feel like such a cheating ass. My grandfather once- Nope, it's the crypt. Okay. Stranger! I do not think anyone even saw the stranger. We only knew him as the Dark Master. It is an ominous title. It is a ponderous chain. The Dark Master, and they described him as a him, so it's not Katrina, apparently. So there's another denizen of this castle? Rumor! There was some talk of vampires at the time. I do not think anyone in Mordavia was actually killed by a vampire. So gradually, the talk faded. Hmm. Well, more happiness, so vampires and werewolves, so it's like living in twilight. How you doing, Nik Nikolai? I have not been so happy since the day of our wedding. I wonder how Nikolai died. I wonder if he just sort of wandered out there and just died of old age, or if he actually was mauled by a wraith. Well, goodbye, you crazy kids. I love ya. Bye! Have a good eternity! Farewell. May you never be- Farewell. May you never be lonely. Oh. The ghostly apparition vanishes. Alright, well that was... That was actually really sweet. More props to the ghost. Good luck. I think it's good for them. Oh! I think... Oh, look how fetching I look. Sneaky feet. I have a new church hat. Hello! <laughs> We're back. Okay. Now, we gotta figure out where we left off. I was poking through my inventory a little bit because we went on a little bit of a vacation. I can't remember what I was doing. So, we just got ourselves a new hat, which I think I know what we need to do with it. And I picked up some Grugu, which we have to deliver back to the Mad Doctor. And... Um, after that, I don't know. So let's stick to what we know. Let's head back to Baba Yaga's hut. If we can find it, I remember I was really good, for a while anyway, at learning, at knowing my way around, and now I'm going to be completely lost. But let's give it a shot. I feel confident in my abilities. I just don't feel confident in my ability to say abilities. It's really hard. Abilities. Abilities. It's one of those words I have trouble with. You know, there's always a couple. Um, oh! You feel a chill go through you as you enter right, this. I am in no shape for this, because I am exhausted, I have no health, but we, we, we gotta go in there. We can't, we can't leave it at nothing. Okay. Let me see. Do I have... You are so... Yeah, I know, I know. Alright, let's take a, take a nap, a little siesta. After... Rest. Well, I can't sleep for too long, otherwise morning's gonna come. Alright, no, it's freaking midnight, we're fine. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep. You are no, you're not. You just napped. You're fine. Don't exaggerate. Okay. okay, so now we have that. And do I have a healing potion? I do. Thank goodness. That feels... We might have enough to take on this wraith. Let's see what happens. I... I hope I remember the magic formula to kill him. To turn Sneaky Feet into Mega Buzzsode... Buzzsode? Buzzsaw murder mode. You wanna get in there, buddy? Great, I'm so... I'm dead, yeah. Half of my strength was sapped before I even got in there. Okay, 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 okay. We got this, we got this, we got this. I just need... Nope. It. Get away, out, out, out. Yeah, and there goes half of my health again. Alright, let's down the other bottle. Oh, wait, the protection spell. Doesn't that, doesn't that do anything? Protection, uh... You cast the- Okay. So now we're gonna save here and give this another try. And we're getting out of sneaky mode, we're just going into full-on sprint mode, sneaking be damned. We've got buzz on to do. Come on, come on, come on, hit him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, okay. Oh god, my health is going down so fast! What am I supposed to do about that? What kind of super wraith is this? Okay, so the protection spell did nothing. Um, is there any... Um, must be something I can do. Calm, fire, throw, dazzle. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Doesn't the zap spell... No yeah! Way. Okay, maybe that'll help. I don't know. I'm gonna cast a protection spell once more. You can't. 
and give this one more try, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think this is happening. Look at my health, this is crazy. I mean, I can get him down pretty far, but I, I, I got nothing. There, this is some kind of super wraith that I am just not equipped to murder at the moment. So sorry, but wraith, oh, mark my words. You're on my list. I have a very short list, Wraith, and you are damn near the top of it. Okay, all right, calm down. Calm down, it's just one failure out of how many successes? I think we, I think we have a pretty good track record, Sneaky Feet, you and I. I also think we're heading in the right direction, let's find out. I just want to see that little, there he is, there's the wiggly bush, the tentacly bush of monstrous hentiness. I think I say a magic word, grow it, say a magic phrase, and there it goes. I think you can pretty much just murder it, just throw stuff at it until it goes away, but I don't think so. I don't know. And it appears to be daytime suddenly in the parallel universe where Baba Yaga exists. Alright, let's talk to Bonehead, and I'm pretty sure he wanted a hat for his head. So, have you got an excuse for being here, or have you just come to keep me company, or what? No, for for once, I think I actually do have a reason to visit you, um... Ah, I was get Let me see, there must be somewhere in here where he told me what he wanted. They're just a guard. Yaga... Eh, when I met, I'd him. expect a Well, whatever, I, I know what I heard, alright? He wants a hat on his little bony head to keep himself warm. And don't he look sharp with it too, but I think I pulled it off better. He pulls it off not so much. There you go, buddy. Eh, not bad, not bad at all. I can tell by the reflections in your eyes that it gives me character, makes me look mysterious. Why are you looking so deeply into my eyes, Bonehead? Hey, all right, you guys. This guy is okay by me. You can let him through. Okay, good. So now we should not have to worry about getting zapped by the lasers. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm going to save because I'm fairly certain that Bobby Yaga is not going to be happy to see me. Bobby Yagfa? Sorry. Here we go. Let's see how. Hey! Chicken hut! Hey, it doesn't like you very much, I guess. Probably blames you for having to fly all the way from Spielberg. Spielberg! Maybe you could find something to win the bird-brained hut over and calm it down. Okay, there is a limit to the amount of puzzles I'm willing to do in one room, but I think I have something in here that might act as bird seed here. Wow, that's a lot of kernels of corn for one cob. There you go, buddy. Nom nom nom. So the fact that he squats over it, does that mean he like has a mouth like on his underside like a squid or an octopus and just lowers himself down on it and says nom 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 nom? That's disgusting. And speaking of disgusting... A strangely familiar, scratchy voice shouts, Now! Now! Good acting, John. Uh, not... Oh! Okay, what's happening? Spirits of the frigid north, spin the water, draw it forth. Frosty spirits summon twice, turn the water into ice. Alright, I love you. And interesting how you got the water to suspend itself in midair to freeze around me. You find yourself trapped in Yep, ice. and I won't be discovered for millions Come of years. For a little visit, are we? A little chat, perhaps? Does she recognize me? We remember the last time. Yep. <laughs> a little visit, don't we, kids? Yeah. It's another voice that sounds very familiar. You turned me into a frog, the Frog! Ah, thought I wouldn't remember you. You thought to yourself, let's just visit Baba Yaga and see what we can turn her into today. Well, somebody already turned you into an older egg. Well, now you're here and all trapped like a fly in a web. Just looking at you reminds me of lunch. Prepare yourself for some food puns. So, uh, what will it be, kids? Hero sandwiches or hero on the half shell? Hero power? Seeing as he is already frozen, we could just settle for a little ice cream sundae with whipped scream and nuts. You're, that's a little overuse of the word scream, I think. Oh, 
good, we'll just skip the main course and go straight to dessert. I think I'll even skip flipping my jaws. Words from the soon-to-be supper. Yes. Well, first, I'm going to save here, just at this goo thing. And let's let's see how she's been doing. Say hello. Hi. How you doing? Hello. You want those to be your last words? Oh. I can also tell about gnome, but I haven't met any gnomes yet. That's a bit of a bug. I'm not going to click on that one, but let's just for fun, let's find out what Sneaky Feed's last words would be. You say something properly heroic. Well, wasn't that inspiring, kids? Guess we'll have bologna and freeze for snackies. Well, my last words didn't kill me immediately. Well, let's, uh, she's no real rush to kill me, apparently. Let's see how she's doing. Baba Yaga! Since I last saw you, I traveled a bit until I landed here. Hut and all. It's so nice we can have a friendly conversation while I'm getting ready to die. Swamp, lovely night, secluded location. We do like our privacy. But we love to have guests for dinner. <laughs> I get it. So nice of you to drop in. I, the drop, like water, maybe? Just mm -hmm. what I like. A dinner that doesn't make excuses. Bon jour and bon appetito. <laughs> appetito. Oh, how humiliating. Oh, derv. Okay, well. Let's not waste time this time. Let's get right to the point. Wait, do I even have a point for visiting her? Uh, how are your kids doing? Kids! You remember Bats and Scarlet, don't you? They kept you from sudden death? Oh, well, I remember. You should be grateful they believe in just rewards instead of just desserts. <laughs> oh, maybe I should be talking to them instead. Nope, I'm dead. Okay, okay, how... I can't tell her about the gnome, because I don't know the gnome. And I would feel bad, uh... Enough already. There must be something I can do without resorting to cheating. Hut... Gnome... What? What? Who is this gnome? Uh... Alright, it's my only way out of here, so I guess I gotta tell her about the gnome before we even met a gnome. Gnome? What no? My thoughts exactly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So I can tell her about the gnome. It's an option, but even she doesn't know about the gnome. You tell about Mr. Bones the gnome. Oh, and the reason you came here. I don't know Mr. Bones. So you come here to help the jester get back his job. Quest for glory, four, ladies and gentlemen. Fitting. He made a fool out of me because you made a fraud out of me, and now I'll make food out of thee. Just desserts, after all. <laughs> I think that just may have killed me faster. We have our favorite treat to eat. Isn't that right, kids? No. Uh, is the bat vouching for me again? You'd rather have pie. What? I pie? I pie with my little eye something old and hard. <laughs> Suck it. Oh, elderberry pie. It's true we haven't had that for a long while. But I can't very well make one now. I don't have any of the ingredients. Let me guess. Oh, poo poo poo. Now that you mention <laughs> it, I'd really like some elderberry pie. With or without ice cream. Stop making the same scream puns. And why doesn't the bat squeak? You're right. He did bring us a mandrake, didn't he? And it made such a lovely mousse. Mm. Very well. But it means no ice cream for now. So, Mr. Tender Morsel, I'll give you another chance. 
Bring me some fresh elderberry pie, and I won't have you for dessert. Agreed? S sure. Like, I have a choice. Vigorously, you nod your head in agreement. Somehow I'll entrap in ice. You can do that. Good. Bring us some fresh elderberry pie, or we'll just settle for Adam's apple pie and the minced meat instead. The minced meat is not really a pun. That's actually a thing, which you could make out of me. Cycle this ice around this fool for iced knee later. Oh, that's a stretch. Get all out now. Get out. Hey, everybody. If you like what you saw, please, by all means, hit that little subscribe button up there. It does wonders. Also, if you'd like to see a little bit more sneaky feet, click little plushy sneaky feet. And if you like to watch some King's Quest stuff, click little plushy Cedric. <laughs> Oh, he's off. I mean, he's great, but he's off. Leave a message. I'm gonna get that. Subscribe.